Hi guys, video 10, we're a third of the way there. We've got a 15 minute lower body session for you. Let's smash it. Okay, so we're starting off this lower body session with some hamstring kickers. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So that's like this. You kick up, stretch the hamstring and back. Kick up, hamstring and back. Nice and light. Stretching out the hamstrings. Working the legs, getting the legs nice and warm. So it's going to be 50 seconds work, 10 seconds off, three times. So again, now, kick up and back. So it's a little hop back after the kick. So it's kick and a couple of steps back. Readjust your feet. You're stretching out the hamstrings, warming them up as well. As well as getting the hips nice and mobilised. Keep that chest up, look forward. Notice I'm putting my hands there as almost like a marker. Good stuff. Nice and easy, nice and gentle to begin with. Try not to pull back. Try and keep nice balance. Work within your limitations, guys, and rest there. Work within your limitations. You've already got so much flexibility, it's all going to be individual to you and I. Some people will be able to kick right over their head, some people won't. I want you to get it up as high as you can until you feel a tiny stretch in the hamstrings and then bring it down. It should feel smooth and it should feel natural. Good start. Yeah, so like I say, warming up the hips and the hamstrings, ready for the rest of the lower body session. Ten more seconds. seconds just sort of shake it out roll the hips maybe try and get into a nice comfortable position again and we'll begin again so kick up hamstring should be feeling a bit looser and now on this third set you should be able to kick that little bit higher now's the time you can you know, start testing how high you actually can kick. Let's push it to the limits now. Imagine like you're punting a rugby ball or a football. Five more seconds. Good, and relax. There, good stuff. They should be feeling, it's a bit of a different type of warm up, kind of dynamic stretching. So hamstrings and glutes and hips should all be loosened up now. So I want you to take it down to the mat now. I'm only gonna go for some glute bridges. So what I want is six glute bridges on the left leg, six glute bridges on the right leg. The glute bridge is as follows. So here's a regular glute bridge. Both legs involved, pushing through the heels, thrust the hips up into the air, squeeze the butt as you come up, hands on the floor, squeeze the butt and hamstrings and lower yourself down nice and slowly. I'll show you again. You thrust the hips up, pushing through the heels, push your hips to the roof and lower yourself down slowly. So that's a regular glute bridge on the floor, now we're gonna try and do single ones. You only need to do six per side, so don't feel too challenged. Right, so I'm gonna start off with my right leg. Left leg will come up in the air like so, and will just be there as a stabilizer. You're gonna shoot the hips up. It's exactly the same, just on one leg. It's gonna feel a little bit unstable, still pushing through the heel like so. 
and it's exactly the same on the left. So here you go, right one gets extended and up like that. So like I say, it's six per side and then I want 30 seconds glute bridge with both legs. So it's gonna be six on the right, six on the left and then 30 seconds, both legs. So we'll get started now. I want you all to start on the right leg. So left leg comes up in the air, feet are on the floor, lying on your back. We'll begin together in three, two, one. So push up through the heel and squeeze, good. And down. Two, make sure you're squeezing at the top. Three, four, last two, five, one more and six, good. Really using the um, isolateral movement, so single leg, it's gonna help isolate each hamstring and glute. Okay, so I'm trying the left leg now. Now I've got the hang of it, let's start again. Six reps on the clock, let's begin. One, two, three, should be feeling it in the hamstring and the glute, so down the back of the leg. Four, five, and six. Good stuff. So now they should be feeling pretty sore, so this 30 seconds should be a bit of a burnout for both the legs. So we're getting three, two, one, here we go. Both legs up and down. Up. Down. So both your legs should be feeling somewhat taxed after those six reps either side. And now they're both working together. So most important things here, pushing through the heels, pushing the hips up to the sky. Good stuff, that's 30 seconds. Gonna give you a small bit of rest, maybe 30 seconds rest, and then we'll go again. We're doing this two more times, so that's a total of three rounds for the glute bridge exercise variations. Okay, so just stretch out the hamstrings maybe. It was a good job we did those kickers to begin with and stretched out those hamstrings. Because uh, yeah, this one definitely works. And 10 more seconds of rest. Lie down, assume the position. Gonna be starting six reps on the right leg. So left leg comes up, here we go. And push, nice. Two, three, four, on it nice and slow and controlled. Five, so if you're going any faster than me, it might be too fast, you might want to reconsider your tempo. Good, and that's six. Other side, right leg becomes extended. Ah, oh, nice stretch on the hamstring. Here we go, left leg, push. One, two, three, four, five, keep breathing. Last one, six, good stuff. Now 30 seconds on the clock, here we go, burn it out. Both legs, three, two, one, push up, nice. Make sure you're squeezing at the top, squeezing glutes, squeezing hamstrings. All about that contraction. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff, relax there. 30 seconds rest and then we're straight back into it. Hamstring should be feeling quite sore and begin to tighten up, so stretch them out in this rest time you've got. Ah, excellent. Not easy. You're on the floor, so it might not get your heart rate quite as much, as high as usual, but it's still definitely taxing on those 
the hamstrings and glutes really getting good contraction. I guarantee this one will make you sore tomorrow. Good, one more set. So, it's six reps on the right leg. Left leg comes straight, pushing through the heel of the right. And three, two, one. So push up and down. Up and down. Nice, slow and controlled. That's three, four, five. Good stuff, one more. And six, nice. Change side, right leg becomes extended. Feel that stretch on the hamstring. Plant the left leg on the floor, pushing through the heel. One, two, three, four, last two, five, one more, and six, good stuff. So both feet on the floor now, last 30 seconds of the glute bridges, three, two, one. So double legs, up and down, up and down, good stuff. Make sure you exhale as you thrust to the sky. Ten more seconds. Good stuff. Three, two, one, and relax there. Excellent. Hamstring should be absolutely on fire by now. And now time to move on. So the next exercise, so the next exercise is going to be a side to side squat walk. So what I mean by that, is just like to watch a demo video. So you're going to squat, half squat down, then you're going to bring the feet together, other foot comes out. Feet together, other foot comes out. So it's like you're doing a squat hold, but you're moving side to side at the same time. So it's going to be left, right left, right, and you're going to keep doing that for one whole minute, so the quads are going to be absolutely on fire by then, as are the glutes, so you just got to stick with it, it's one of these mind over matter sort of things, it's going to be painful, but you're just going to have to push through, so I'm going to put one minute on the clock now, and we're going to repeat this three times in total, so make sure you're ready, so half squat down, move a bit to the left, and we'll begin in three, two, one, let's go. So squat down to the middle, to the right, to the middle, to the right. So you're not going up or down, you're just going side by side, but you're already in a half squat position. Good. So that's the first 15 seconds down already. You're already a quarter there. Doesn't hurt yet, but I assure you by 45 seconds, it definitely will be. So remember it's not a full squat, you don't need to be right down, it's just a slight bend in the knees. But remember we're not going up or down, we're just staying where we are. Okay, definitely starting to get a bit harder now, 15 seconds left of this first set. 10 more seconds, keep going, side and side. Side, last three, two, one, good stuff. Relax for 30 seconds, then we'll get into the next set. Remember we're doing this three times in total, so we've got two more rounds left of this. So shake out the legs. You already begin to start feeling an accumulation of blood. A little bit of lactic acid maybe, depending on how advanced you are. Ah, good stuff, keep breathing, 10 more seconds of rest. Then I want you back into that half squat. Ready to start it all over again for another minute. Here we go, three, two, one. So squat down and to the right. Or the left, depending on which way you're going. Good, so you can see I'm using my hands here to keep my chest up and my shoulders back. The only real bend is at the knee. And even that isn't too substantial. So you're going to have to police yourself here with the uh, amount of bend in your leg. You're going to have to see if, if you're feeling it or not. 
And if you're not feeling it, go deeper. If you are, you're probably at the right place. And if you're feeling it too much in the butt, you might be too deep, so come up a little bit and switch some of the emphasis onto the quad. Ah, good stuff. 10 more seconds left. Keep that chest up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. 30 seconds rest. One more set left. You're going to start to feel the legs go a little bit, just want you to stick with it. We've got one more exercise after this round, but I don't want that as an excuse for you to be conserving energy. 10 seconds more rest, shake out the legs, try and remove as much of the blood out there, shake them out, good. Half squat down, and here we go. Good, so it's really easy to get quite lazy with this and almost be standing up and just walking side to side like this. I really want you to focus on being in that squat position the whole time. Good stuff. Definitely starting to tax the legs, we're halfway there. Here we go. 20 more seconds, keep going, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, good stuff, relax there, stand up, shake out the legs, might have been easy, might have been hard, it's going to be up to, you know, how deep you are squatting, how advanced you are, like I mentioned before. Okay, so like I said, we've got one more exercise left. Nice and simple. I want you to squat. Shoulder width stance, regular squat, chest up, shoulders back. I want you to squat as many times as you physically can until you stop. I want you to try and stand the pain for as long as you can and it's when you cannot stand it, you physically cannot stand it anymore and your legs, I don't know, physically crumble or whatever, then you can stand up, then you're done. That's the workout complete after this. So I want as many squats as you physically can do. We'll begin together and we'll see who drops off first. I want to count, I want you to count how many you get and I want you to comment down below if you beat me and if you didn't, you tried your best. Right, so. Here we go, as many reps as possible on squat. Chest up, shoulders back, hips back, I want parallel at least. So three, two, one, squat down. Good, so exhaling on the way up. Already starting to hurt, especially after that. That's me for 20. Remember, it's not a race, it's just as long as you can go without stopping. going. If you're still going, you'll know how hard this is. Good, that's 40 for me. That's 50. No stopping, 55, 56, 57, 58, 
Ah, I stopped. It's literally the moment where you stop to take a rest. That's game over. So that was, I think, 56 or 58, something like that. I'd love to know how you got on. Please comment it down below. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.